understand We got a whole lot of more discovering Don't act like you know how to know in the universe You can't flow from the verse to the next verse Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. We're here at the 72nd Cannes Film Festival um, with the wonderful actress Tanista Chatterjee, who many of you will remember from Brick Lane, but also many international films such as Lion and Parched. Welcome, Tanista. How are you doing? Thank you. Absolute pleasure, Shalish. Yeah. So tell us a little bit um, about what you're doing now. I hear you've moved from acting to directing and making your own film. I haven't moved. <laughs> I'm just also doing that. Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. yes, yes. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this, this project? Um, so yeah, it's my debut um, as a writer and director. It's, uh, the film is called Rom Rom Me in Hindi. And if you know, like Rom Rom Me means in my, in, in my skin, in my, right. you know. So it's, uh, we shot it in Rome, so it has a little bit of a pun on that. Um, the whole film, it has Nawazuddin Siddiqui, uh, wow. me and uh, uh, a bunch of Valentina Corti, Francesco Apollini, uh, Urbano Barberini, I mean a bunch of really, really talented and well-known Italian actors. Fabulous. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is, the film is uh, in post-production right now. It's a psychological drama. And what led you to make a film in, in Rome, in Italy, with Italian actors? <laughs> It is, um, well, I had a personal experience in Venice when a few years back I went there uh, to the Venice Film Festival. And it was a very strange incident, which I won't tell you what it is okay. because, you know, it's a yeah. very important part of the film right, and you right, have to discover okay. it through yes. the film. But that sort of left an impression. And I've always been very, very inspired by Murakami you know, I read and I, I personally like spaces which are kind of surreal and you can't really pinpoint and deja vu and, and this experience in Venice was all of that. I and I, till date, I know it was real, but I can't, I can't understand what really happened. Right. And so that uh, led to me start, you know, th that starting point of writing. Right. Did, did you think then that there is a film in this or was it the process or not being able to process it that really led you to write? So you know when I came back from Venice I told my father that this is what happened and he said oh you know what Venice is just strange um, the water there makes you a little hypnotic and uh, you must have had too much wine I'm like but dad I don't drink <laughs> so see, yeah. and then he said whatever it is you know um, it's a good story you should just write it <laughs> And was it was it easy like that or no? So I wrote it as a just a short story first, and then slowly it started developing in my mind, and other things came into it of you know uh, other experiences, and it started weaving in a particular way, and then slowly and slowly. Um, Italy started becoming such an integral part of it because at the core of it, the story is about the oppressive family structure of the Indian patriarchy and how women are really treated there. And it uh, started shouting a huge resonance to what happened with me in Italy at that time. And it Italians also have a very strong patriarchal family structure. And uh, the, whole, the Renaissance movement there where a lot of women artists and uh, writers and courtesans who, were, who became very, very famous writers, Veronica Franco, Artemisia Gentileschi, all these women who are, whose contribution to Italian Renaissance is actually huge, but they're never as celebrated as a Michelangelo or Rembrandt. And, and no one outside of Italy really knows their names or their work. So it all started then making sense. And, you know, the story has it's a psychological drama where all of this is juxtaposed and um, yeah, I mean, and I've spoken actually a lot about the film. <laughs> okay. No, so what stage are you at with the with So uh, we finished filming uh, and I've finished, almost finished my, I mean, I've finished my edit and it's in post-production. It's uh, basically music and sound mix and all that's, that's what is uh, left, so we're at that stage. And you'll be going for like a theatrical distribution? Yes, Eros International has produced the film uh, along with Rising Star Entertainment. And uh, so I'm uh, in Cannes here to actually um, find 
you know sales and distribution uh, international sales and distribution um, once the film is complete then of course I'm going to enter film festivals and and how has been your experience kind of behind the camera I, it's been wonderful I've worked with really an amazing amazing creative team uh, my actors, um, like all of them, are fantastic. With Nawaz, of course, I've done a number of films as a uh, co-actor. Did you write it with him in mind? Like, no, like... I just wrote it. And he fitted the role and we were discussing it. And then he said, oh, let's, let's do this together. And that's all, no. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't have anyone in mind. It was just the story. That... And are you looking at? taking it to a film festival? Yes, yes, of course, though I'm meeting people here uh, for that as well. I mean, if it was complete, then I would have tried for Cannes as well, but the That's film wasn't complete, well, yes. Be, I think it'd be fantastic if you can get it here. You're a fantastic actress, and I'm really excited to see this film. It sounds amazing. So, thank you. Um, we really look forward to, to covering it. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Absolute pleasure. Yes.